All right, so um, this is going to be a uh, developing story that we're monitoring at the SAWA. Now, live on your screens at this point, Minister of Communications and Digital Technologies, Mondi Gungubele, is switching off the last analog transmitter uh, above 694 megahertz in Stellenbosch. Now, it marks the conclusion of step one of this two-step approach to ultimate analog switch off in the country. television and this is the third transition which we are undertaking and grateful to be part of uh, of course this one is black and white <laughs> color, color digital migration <laughs> yes, yeah. so this is what is really, really uh, happening right so these the, are live visuals uh, coming through from Stellenbosch on our screens uh, Minister of Communication so and Digital Technologies Mondi Gugubelo switching off the last analog uh, transmitter uh, which is above 694 uh, megahertz and yeah, in, in, uh, currently happening in Stellenbosch this obviously looks at the country's transition from analog to digital uh, we've seen numerous timelines being set over the past 13 years and uh, perhaps um, edging closer to that ultimate switch off um, in that two-step approach the first being the 31st of July 2023 and then the 31st of December at December 2024 which will be the final analog terrestrial TV switch off um, deadline announced by the minister I do believe that our reporter Vanessa Puna, in fact, is live from Stellenbosch. Perhaps she could walk us through what is currently transpiring on your end, Vanessa, if you can hear me, and really the significance of this for the country at large. to you. Yes, I'm battling to hear you um, because at the moment, as you'll see on our on our screens, that there is a briefing underway um, with the Minister Mondi Ngubele just uh, 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 literally minutes before that all-important uh, switch off of the analog, the last of the analog transmitters here in Stellenbosch. Um, I see that the Minister is indeed getting ready for that moment, if I'm not uh, mistaken. And as soon as he's done that, um, I will uh, endeavour to speak to Minister about uh, South Africa's um, this next phase in moving towards a complete digital migration. So for the moment, I'm going to um, just uh, give uh, the minister that moment. I think everybody's got eyes on him at this present time um, uh, for Minister Gungubele to do indeed uh, just that. Uh, we'll keep our pictures rolling on that moment. Countdown, colleagues. Ten. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go! Go! Go digital! And it's on! Yes! Minister, that moment has arrived, of course, where uh, you've earlier in June uh, said that this two sort of uh, part system will happen. Today, of course, is the first deadline, 31 July. Uh, talk to us a bit about the significance, Minister, after uh, years in the making, of course, uh, now a step further towards full digital migration in South Africa. This is a huge uh, historic turnaround in our country. Uh, it's a huge economic reform intervention so that we deal with the issues of access to information in a speedier way, uh, accessing a number of areas we have not been able to access. Young people, business and so on actually have got a bigger turf now uh, to actually make use in, in order to improve their business in one way or another. As we have said to you, broadcasters had to move from above 694 for the efficient use of 694 to 800 by telcos. Telcos will go on now to manufacturers, your 5G and a number of other issues so that uh, they are able 
to actually increase their business, make more money in an efficient and uh, probably at a lesser cost for more. There's a second part um, uh, which will happen by the end of December next year. Um, let us talk a bit about um, the average citizen. I know there has been concerns, Minister, around um, the rolling out of the set top boxes. I know there have been late applications, for example, uh, from citizens to, to access those set top boxes. Can you tell us um, where we are in that process and how many of these devices have already been issued, how many are still to be issued based on those late applications, and also what does this translate to the average person out there who may not as the, at this point as yet have access uh, to, uh, to this migration process? Well, in that instance, I've been advised by the team that they will continue st installing set -up boxes to those who don't have. One of the reasons we have got two-faced is because we wanted to make sure that we do our best to improve the, the scale of installation so that we do our best to save the revenue for broadcasters. Remember, they would have said to you that uh, since we switched off from the five protocol provinces, uh, there's a need to ensure that we access as many poor people in particular with the installation so that the broadcasters are able to improve their numbers to advertisers. So, we are going to keep others under, un, connected to analog below 694 while others have access to digital uh, infrastructure until next year. What is it, December? Yes. By December next year, everyone is out of analog. So those who don't have installation set of box, the, that process is still ongoing. We have asked our internal auditors to make sure that uh, everyone, in particular people who do not have alternative, that they have access to the increase of channels which will provide uh, special access to health, education, entertainment and so on uh, in a more enhanced manner now than it was before to the ordinary people than only to those who have got money to pay for their pay what to call television. Minister, thank you very much for speaking to me. Of course, Minister Monli Gungubele, they just literally a few seconds ago having switched off the last analog transmitter here in Stellenbosch in the Western Cape. And I don't know if I can just show you, for example, um, behind us this, of course, a moment ago we had two screens with pictures and, of course, that being the old analog system and, of course, that out of operation now. What we see on the screen is uh, SABC Sport Live um, and, of course, uh, that being uh, digital television. So, of course, uh, much excitement here. We have executives from various uh, broadcasters uh, as well, radio and television, as well as representatives from Centec and others. Um, and I know everybody's clamoring at this moment to have a word to the minister. Uh, so from me at the moment, from Stellenbosch, it's back to you in studio. Vanessa Puna, thank you for that update. Again, Vanessa Puna bringing us the latest there. Moments ago, we witnessed live on our screens, Minister of Communications and Digital Technology, Monji Gungobele, switching off the last analog transmitter, which was about 694 megahertz, perhaps um, to 800 megahertz, which will, you know, utilize the 5G um, as well as enable the economy to grow. Perhaps looking at some of the initiatives that also benefit businesses and citizens alike. Um, we just saw that last migration happening there. Again, it's one of two approaches happening. The last set for timeline uh, of the 31st of December 2024. Again, thanks to Vanessa for that update.